What's going on everyone? Just want to do a quick review. 2020 Ultra Limited. Got 200 miles on it. Vivid black. Everything's blacked out. It's a little dirty. Live on a dirt road. Want to test out my new iPhone as well. I got an iPhone 11 uh, Pro. It's got three cameras coming from an iPhone 7. So, first things that really just blew me away with this bike are the new wheels that come on these. They're so sweet. They're 18s front and rear. <clears throat> they just, they look so good. They set the bike off really well. <clears throat> they look great, don't they, Lou? Everything about this bike is fantastic. Rode it 200 miles. Love everything about it. I'm coming off a, uh, well, this is my dad's bike. I ride a, got a 2018 Street Glide with a 107. This thing's all stock, stock mufflers. Um, first and foremost, I've never had heated hand grips on a bike. And those things are the best I've ever, best thing I've ever used or rode with. They're just, they're great. They're fantastic. So definitely a plus. Should have had a bike with heated hand grips, but I don't. Street glide base, it's stripped, you know? Um, anyways, uh, so my first complaint about this thing is, and I really, I don't have many complaints, is that it only comes with one fob. Like, I'm sorry, but when you're spending $30,000 for a motorcycle, why? There you go, there's, there's your price for this bike right here. What's that? That might be for a color, but either way, 30 grand and they skip you out on your your $50 fob what the hell Harley what's up with that um anyways trunk's super big super nice it's great 12 volt here it's been in these bikes for a few years now so nothing new there uh I put the stock street glide seat on it because the stock seat on these things is just miserable it is god awful I'm six foot one six foot Got a 34 inch uh, inseam on my jeans. So that seat just, it's too short. And uh, I guess too tall, I should say. And it's too far forward. So it's for a short person. You know, it's for someone that's 5'9", with short legs. Um, and then something new for 2020, no heel shifter. Finally, I hate heel shifters. I'll never ride a bike with a, with a heel shifter. I don't like them. So I'm kind of glad it comes with it. But then again, it's hardly being cheap again skipping out on the heel shifter but hey you know profit mar margin is where it's at um so like i said 200 mile review 216 had 15 miles on it we got it from the dealer uh radio is already done by watts audio so you can't even tell stock grills in there there's a 720 watt amp in there arc moto and then it's got uh the db drive euphoria is in the front and focal i don't remember what one's there in the back but it's nice stock look you can't tell this thing's just louder than hell i wear a full face helmet on it and it's still ear piercing um but overall this bike so far is fantastic compared to my 18 the ride on it is just night and day like you would never I guess I would never think, okay, you know, an inch longer shock is going to make that big, big of a difference. It's still got the same size rear wheel, but this thing is just like, it's like riding on a cloud. Oh, another thing real quick while we're here. There's no more button up front. I can't close this. We're in Michigan. Our weather's not always the best. We get caught in rain and that thing is nice to close. So now that that's not an option anymore, no more button to close. It's always open. That's kind of, kind of janky. I think, especially on a $30,000 motorcycle, you skip that. Um, anyways, the radio on these, I know everyone's seen them. It's the same one that comes on the 19s. So, so it's, it's fantastic. It's super fast compared to the old ones. I mean, obviously navigation is going to take a minute, but everything else on this thing is, it's just so fast and so smooth and it's great. And then another new thing they started for 20 on these is when you hook your phone up to it, you, there's a there's a module right here on top of the radio, which is where we put the amp, so it's on the side now. But that module, it tells you where your bike is. It's like the new cars. It tells you how much gas you have, how many miles to E, 
how many miles are on the bike, when your service intervals are, all that stuff. And if you unplug it, you can't start the bike. But what you can do, you can start the bike and unplug it. And then there goes your whole low jack, you know? So, you know, it, it's, I guess, a little thing to help Harley out or help, you know, insurance companies find stolen bikes. So, um, something, I guess, kind of cool if you want government seeing where you're at all the time. But, hey, you have cell phones and they can always track you. Uh, 114, super strong running. Love it. Uh, even for a stock bike, it, it runs really good. My bike, if you've watched a couple of my videos, I have a cam in it. And uh, just basic stuff. And it, it, it cruises for what it is. It's fast. But this thing is, uh, for being stock, I'm actually very impressed with it. It runs really well for what it is. Stock LEDs, they're black on this thing now, which is sweet. So, I mean, they're bright. They're, they're the uh, Harley Daymaker and the uh, fog or spotlights, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, overall, I would have to rate this bike a solid 10 out of 10. I mean, my 18th Street Glide doesn't ride half as good as this thing, doesn't look half as well. I mean, it looks as good as it, but this thing is just so nice. Like, I mean, I can't get enough of this bike. Like, this will be my next bike. I will be getting, you know, one of these in the next year or two. I'll get rid of my Street Glide and get one of these and just put a quick detach on it and call it a day. Because, I mean, just the ride on this thing compared to my Street Glide is night and day. My Street Glide rides like complete garbage. And, you know, that's a $27,000 fucking bike, too. Ooh, excuse my language. $27,000 bike. And, you know, this is 32 for $5,000. They put, the, you know, or not 5000 but for twenty seven they put the cheap shocks on it. I mean, this has pretty much the same coilover type shocks that the Street Glides have. But, you know, they're an inch longer. So, or it might even be a half inch. But either way, it makes a huge difference. So, brakes are good. Rides good. Looks good. Overall, 10 out of 10. Just wanted to test out my new iPhone on this thing. Make a quick little video. Upload it. Personal opinion, not a dealership. You know, you see these people that are always uploading videos. Oh, it's the best thing ever, this and that. Yeah, it is great. This is a great bike. Phenomenal. It blows the street glides just out of the water. I mean, for the extra money this thing is, my dad actually got it for a really, really good deal. So, um, Blake at Wolverine, Blake Dew, that dude hooked it up fat for us. And I would try and send anyone and everyone over there. And if you are in Michigan, anywhere in Michigan, I would go there. I mean, this dude will hook you up. Tell him Garrett sent you. And uh, tell him you want a deal because... He's ready to wheel and deal. It doesn't matter if it's spring, winter, fall, anytime. He's always ready to make a deal with you. So this thing is sweet. Oh, one thing, one gripe I have about this thing. It's super, super nitpicky, but where's the quality control on this? This thing is crooked. If you look at it right now, see how it's angled down? See, this side's lower, so it's angled down. And it's not because the bike's... On an angle, you know, if I hold my camera crooked, sideways, whatever, it's still crooked. So where's the quality control on that one, Harley? Super not excited about that. But overall, this bike is sweet. So over and out. This video is done and over with. Any questions, please comment. I'm going to make a couple more videos on this bike. Try using this phone a little bit more, too, because... This camera is awesome, and yeah, I might as well take advantage of it. It was an expensive phone, so I'm going to use it all I can. Okay, over and out.